Howdy. Welcome back to Van Freedom. Um, I once again started doing a project without starting my recorder. Um, I thought I'd start it now. I'm like in the middle of it already. I am at my temp base underneath the haunted house. Haunted house is up here. We. Oh, bad news too. The other day I lost Ridlin, my horse, and now Jizzer's gone. My little little Zombo baby. I don't know what's going on around here. This I checked with Corporatech, and um, nobody did anything. He just naturally unspawned or whatever. Um, Maybe glitched into the wall and suffocated or something, but he was named, so he shouldn't have spawned or despawned. And the glass protects him from the sun, which I think babies don't even need protection from the sun. Um, don't know what happened to him. Well, well, back to what I was doing. <laughs> that sucks. That's like um, I also found a pig. I don't, I don't know if I even showed him in a video. Um. I was on the server by myself last week, and I kept hearing freaking doors open and closing because there's a lot of pressure plate doors and, and gates and stuff around spawn. Um, and I kept hearing them open and closing, and I kept looking around. I didn't see anything. And I go into my shop, and I'm just standing there uh, kind of you know semi-AFK doing something, and I hear this door open. And, and I look, I turn around, I look, and this freaking pig stand. It scared the crap out of me. The pig's just standing there staring in my face. So I got a name tag, and I named him Hamlet. <laughs> don't know why. Just because Ham, you know. I don't know. Stupid. But um, but I made him a little cage over in Spawn, and uh, the other day I noticed he's missing too. And I did court protect all around. You know, somebody could have just, you know, killed him, I guess. But I think he just, I, I think we had a glitch on the server because two or three other things disappeared around that same time. Um, Gonza's, uh Zombo horse, it disappeared. And now my little zombie baby and uh, and that pig and... A couple other things disappeared. People were complaining about missing some things. So I think we had a server-wide glitch that deleted um, some of the, the mobs that we had named. And I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to Soldier and see what we can do about that. See if the logs say anything about it. But, okay, back to what I was doing. Um, so I decided I'm going to make a permanent base under here. I have my base, that one base, tree house base way out there, and then I bit, took over this tree over here, a tree that, a house that is a tree, um, but that's not really mine. I don't really feel at home there. It's somebody else's. So I'm going to move my stuff out of there and maybe move some of my stuff in my main base out there into here. And I've been using it, you know, I have the furnaces here, and I had a little storage area over here. Um... I built this room here for more storage just the other day. So now I decided I'm going to expand this. So i making a enchantment station down here and a place for all my books and enchanted armor and stuff. Um, making a piston system. I think I've seen this on um, one of Seth Bling's videos where the... Uh, The bookshelves are in the floor, and you pull a switch, and uh, they retract and 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 come up, whatever you know. So um, I'm working on that right now. Um, dang, I've got some lag going here. I haven't been down. Oh, I'm down to 30 frames a second, and I haven't been that low for a while. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm the only one on the server. Oh one other person I don't know okay so um let me throw some redstone in here I just need a line all the way around 
connecting all these pistons together. So yeah, I just put pistons underneath each bookshelf, you know, one block under, pointing up, put um, repeaters on each piston, and I think that's all I need. I have a lever here. Wait, wait, I might, might still need the redstone. So I'm going to bring the lever up. Oh, shoot. Ah, I didn't leave my way myself away back up. Oh. I guess this is the only spot I can go up. Actually, I'm going to put the lever right about here anyway. So... Let's just bring... to bring it through the side. The block under here. Well, that's not going to work. I'll just come through the back then. Um, probably going to need a repeater. Actually, if I go both ways, I don't think I will. Yeah, okay, so if I put a redstone signal there, a block there, redstone there, there, and there. That way it goes both directions at once. I put a switch up here. Try to jump up and get it aligned this way. Nope, can't jump high enough there. Got one about here. Yeah. There we go. I'll pull it. Oh, yep, I'm going to need a repeater. <laughs> Got everything but the back. I need. Keep it even. I probably need two repeaters. Okay, let me go back here a minute. Whoa. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. There's a spot right here. And just so... Er, well, you know what? I'm going to try it without that first. If they all come up at the same time, then I don't need another one there. Now, see, see how the back part's a little off. That's going to put a kick on it. And they're, in, yeah. Looks like the right side is a little bit faster than the left, too. Okay, so how you fix that Put all these before the repeater on one tick, or two ticks, I mean. Is this, wait a minute, ah, yeah. So I'm going to have to put another repeater in here just to keep it even, I think. So all these are on two ticks. That way, see, this is on one tick, and that's on one tick. So that'll make that two ticks. Anything that's back here is going to be on two ticks. So make all these two ticks. That one. Did I do this one? Yeah. So now they all should go up and down at the same time. Maybe. Yeah. For those of you that don't know a whole lot about ticks, um, it's pretty easy to explain if you look at it this way. Okay, all these... Since I had to put these extra ones in, that threw an extra tick just on these back ones. Because all all these had one tick to begin with. Because there's 
one repeater and they were all on one tick. One repeater in each piston, they were all on one tick. So when I threw in these extra repeaters back here, I'm going to try taking that one out just to see what happens real quick. But when I threw these this extra repeater back here, it made any of them that are coming off of that line on two ticks. So to compensate for that, all the ones that aren't on that line have to be set to two ticks. And let's see if this works still. Yeah, see there's a little bit of a lag on the left hand side. Alright, let me get over so that lever's not in the way. Oh, there's a little bit of just a little lag. So let me put that repeater back and see what happens. Dang, I'm getting some bad lag right now. I thought we took care of this lag. Okay. It looks like it took care of it. Yep. So I can't tell unless I slow put it in slow mo. It looks like there might be a little bit of a drop in the back before this side, but not much, not enough to be noticeable in regular mode. All right, got that. Uh, now I just got to fancy this up a little bit and cover up these holes. Um, all right, I'll do that off camera real quick. I, I'm not sure exactly what materials I'm going to use yet. So um, I'll be back in a little bit. All right. Well, hey, I'm back, and I'm done in here for now um, until I start. Well, I'm not completely done. There's a couple things I want to do real quick. Let me do them. But, yeah, the floor, I think, turned out all right. Um, I think it looks pretty good. And I did it like this so that you can walk around the outside and check out the chests. I'm hoping, I'm going to dig around below and hoping to find some kind of a mob spawner that I can bring over here just for like quick, quick enchants when I don't want to have to run all the way to the end farm. Um, and I'll have some kind of uh, a junction in it so that when I'm not using this, I can just flip a switch and the zombies will go into or or whatever spiders or skellies whatever kind of mob spawner I could find will go into the haunted house when I'm not using this they'll just spawn into the haunted house um, that'd be cool and I'll just have like a separate room off the side somewhere where I can go kill the mobs and then come back here and enchant so uh, what one other thing I need to do in here is get some iron and make some anvils to put in there. One, two, three. How many I want? I want about four. Uh, oh shit, it's just for me. Two would be plenty, I think. When one breaks, I'll have an extra. I don't have to make one. Oh, put 32 there. Oh, well, no. All right. So, throw a couple handles in the back here. Or maybe I'll... Nah, I want to keep them centered. One there. One there. Yeah. All right. Done with that for now. Um, I'm going to think of some other things I need to do in here. I'm going to try to fancy it up a little bit, move my bed out of here, just use this for like a kitchen type area, and then my two storage rooms, main two storage rooms, and I'm going to probably go through the wall here somewhere, make like a bedroom, living area. I've never actually made a decent living area in Minecraft yet. Um, even in single player, it's more function than than aesthetics or whatever. Um, 
this one I really want to try to fancy it up, you know, make it look livable, even though I probably won't be here that often. Um, it's mostly just going to be used for storage, but I just want to make it look that way, you know, see what it looks like. Ooh, shoot, I forgot to put, I fancy this up in here a little bit and didn't uh, light it back up. Let me check the light levels. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of most of the torches too. I'll put some redstone lamps or at least glowstone lamps in the ceiling or the floor somewhere or the walls. Um, try to come up with something a little more fancy. Yeah. Well, um, I'll be back and show you what I come up with. All right. Hey, I'm back. Um, I decided to do a lot of this off camera because um, it was kind of boring. It was slow, me trying to figure out exactly what I was going to do. Um, but now that it's done, well, I actually did start recording a couple times, but it was really slow and boring. So I figured I'd just show you after I was done. Um, whoa. Well, first of all, I put carpet in these two rooms and changed the blocks around a little bit. So it gave it a little, little bit of a um, different look. Um, I built another room back here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. And my entryway, I made into a kitchen. And put some glass in here. But yeah, made a little kitchen looking area. With some pictures on the wall and even a cacti. And made me a bedroom. Woohoo! <laughs> Never had a real bedroom before in Minecraft. But yeah. Came up with a fancy looking bed. It's actually still functional. I didn't think it would be with these slabs on top like that. But yeah, it works. Got me a skull, a creeper, and a wither. And fireplace. Look. Got some um, dispensers with with uh, flint and steel in them, and nether brick or nether rack underneath. And uh, I guess this might be common knowledge, but it wasn't to me because I've never really messed with fire a whole lot. Um, but it took me a minute. I was trying to figure out how to turn it off. And I realized that if you move the nether rack, it puts out the fire. So I just put a couple pistons under it. So, yep, now it goes off and on. Yep. Working fireplace. And, oh, and I... God, I wish it wasn't raining right now, but, yeah, I put this big-ass picture window in here. Oh. Get up here. I've got a good view of spawn from here. I love this. It's great. Okay, now. So then I decided, well, I, I went to the tree base over there that I've been using. Um, Justin's old tree. And moved all the stuff that was over there over to here and put it inside my chest so I can have all my stuff in one location. All the stuff, extra stuff that I had underneath the, um, my potion shop that didn't have to do with potions, I brought it over here too. I brought some of my stuff from my uh, tree shack base out in the boonies um, over to here too. And you know what, I'm going to cut here and wait for this rain. Am I the only one on the server? Yeah, I'm the only one on the server. Let me just... I should have just finished sleeping and might have took care of the rain. Let's see what happens. But 
Yeah, if not, I'm going to have to cut and then come back after the rain stops. Because I want to show you the outside. Oh, yep. Cool. All right. Yeah, I redid the stairs. I also took down this mountain. Or part of the mountain that was right here. This mountain was all the way up to about here. And it went up around there. So I cut it back quite a bit and fancied it up a little bit. I put some holes in the wall because I'm going to build a big ass graveyard right here. Um, one of our, uh, the members on the server, Roy, he went out to the desert with a silk touch oh, um, pair of shears and got me a bunch of dead plants that I'm going to put around in here too. I think it'll give it a more of an eerie feel. Have some like half open graves, things like that. Um, so yeah, I fancied up the stairs a little more. I put, I don't know if you could just hear that. Where was that? Zombo. I hauled out parts of the walls and, and enclosed them so that mobs would spawn in the walls. And did this. Oh, that uh, the outside view of that too. Packed ice under it for a little bit of a cool look. Found a um ice biome. Hey Mr. Creeper, don't blow up my chit. Add this waterfall. That one was an accident and I just left it. Um Creeper, no, don't fall on my head. Where'd he go? But yeah, so I made a little pond here for it to drain into. And then I decided I'd throw this one in. Doesn't look natural, but I thought it looked cool. Made a little pond under it. And then I did this. You can kind of see through it. I don't know if you can see through it on the video real good. But all my horses are in there. And I... And my dogs. I threw a switch in here. Can I even get to it with all the horses in the way? No. Get out of the way, Nuge. Oh, who is this one? Oh, oh that's um, Gonza's horse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I threw some pistons up at top and dug a little trench, or made a trench here. So the water wouldn't go everywhere. And um, the pistons retract and the water is on top of the piston so it comes out and drains into that. And then when you pull, turn it off, oh actually when when you turn it on, it, it they um, extend back and, and, and shut off the water. And when you turn it off, they pull, you know, they retract and, and the water comes out. But yeah, I had to have a, so yeah, I, after I moved all my stuff, oh, I'll make sure that creeper's not still up there, but yeah, after I um got all my stuff from the um, Justin's tree, I didn't have a place to, to put my animals, so I just dug this in here, and yeah, I like it. Oh, come on, you guys. Uh, <laughs> get out of the way. <laughs> there we go. And that's pretty much it for now here. Um, ah, Creeper's still up there. Come on, now turn around. Oh, well, now he's out of view. Kind of with one shot, but I don't think he's dead. Oh, yeah, that was real smart. Okay, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Um, so, I'm not sure how long this video was, but um, I'm going to end it here.
and I hope you liked it. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you later. Adios.